Yeah, another option for the PhD aspirant in a state university. This is a very old university and if you are a non-net then you can also take admission and you will get a very good amount of stipend. And if you are having already having a JRF then you have to go through direct interview mode. So let's see the main instructions because if you have to fill the form you must know each and every clause before registration and before final submission of the form. So this is the PhD admission page of the Punjab University which is in Chandigarh. So they have declared the, uh, uh, the application along with they have also declared the date of entrance test which is very good. Otherwise generally no university will declare the date first. First they will declare the application form then after the last date of the application they will declare the dates. But the thing is that they have declared each and everything. Now see this is the Punjab University, it's a state university. Our uh, telegram group there was a huge discussion like this university is a central government university or state government university so there was a discussion in our group but let me clear this is a state government university also funded by central government so they are getting a fund because it's a very old university and very good university. Now see the date of entrance test will be 28-2023 so everything is declared so what you have to do you have to just fill go ahead. Uh, go for online registration fill the fees uh, when once you fill the fees then there will be an option so see th these are the final dates so the last date of deposition of the fees is 8 8 but the last date for the submission of the information to the website is 5 8 so please uh, make sure that do not delay in any respect otherwise uh, <clears throat> you have to submit a late fees also so see this is the format this is the format of the paper 1 and the paper 2. Paper 1 will be the objective for everyone. 28-2003 is the date on which the entrance examination will be there. Objective and a subjective depending upon your choice on the subject. Now the important instruction is that you have to submit a fees of PhD entrance test which is little bit high. Generally state universities are having the fees of 2000 plus rupees. So they are charging 2395 rupees for the general categories and for the reserved category you have to pay 1198. Got it? Now move on to the main important points which are which must you must know. See, see this is the table through which you will judge <clears throat> where you are and how you have to go. Like these are the department. This is the faculty of art. The subject and the number of slots number of slots means the number of seats so first you will check whether your department of interest your master subject interest the seats are there or not faculty of science so all the departments are having a very good number of seats i can say you, uh, you can see there are a lot of seats option uh, in zoology microbiology microbial biotechnology physics etc etc so first you have to check the faculty like which faculty Faculty of Languages, Design, Fine Arts, Faculty of Engineering, Pharmaceutical Sciences, Education. Now, what is the procedure? You have to fill the form through, through proper guidelines. There is an ordinance. So who will be the eligible? The master's degree program with minimum 50% marks. And if you are a bachelor, then four year bachelor degree program can also apply for this. Now, MPhil students can also apply uh, the category students will get a 5% relaxation. The best part is that who will be exempted. Now see this is the eligibility for the pharmaceutical science. If you are from a pharmaceutical science then the eligibility is different. <clears throat> like the bachelor's degree, master's degree or a master's degree with these type of subject or qualifications. These are the eligibility test for the faculty of art. They have actually separated the different faculties but that is of no use you will find yourself <clears throat> what is the exact faculty for you now the exemption criteria this is very important who are exempted any fellow who has qualified net ls i am saying net ls ugc csir net jrf gate c gpat icmr ic ar see this is ic ar i am always focusing that fill the form of ICAR although it is from the agriculture background but you will get the benefit. 
so they have not nowhere mentioned like icar will not uh, cannot enter in the science stream or cannot enter in any other stream so if you are from the science background and if you will qualify icar then you will be eligible for this form that's why i focus fill all the forms get the certificate and you will be exempted gate gpad everyone will be exempted and if you have already cleared the phd entrance test of punjab university from the last two years then your certificate will be valid for the next three years you are eligible by default so minimum is the 50 percent marks you have to secure in the examination if you are not exempted but if you are exempted then you have to face the direct interview viva voice then accordingly your percentage your merit will be declared and you will be approved so this is a scheme of the test this is a simple objective multiple choice question 50 question minimum 50 percent you have to achieve so this is all about interview will be conducted reservation policy is there so fill the form with very cautiously if you have still any doubt you can just ask me discuss in our telegram group already most of the members are filling this form so uh, stay tuned if you have still any doubt then please reconfirm before registering yourself on this portal because once you will fill the form then there will be no option for the update so thank you so much have a nice day bye bye take care